Hi, this is Jaya. Now we shall see the summary of Cartography by Kamila Shamsi. Kamila Shamsi is a Pakistani British writer and all her novels have won the hearts of the readers. She usually traces about human human relationship and about the calamity which is happening in the world which destroys our relationship and how uh, we have to cross all these and come to live a good life. In her second novel itself that is Salt and Saffron, Kamila Shamsi she shows a young Pakistani woman who crosses against all the class and lineage everything she ignores it and then she finds out what human relationship is and she has also won the prize uh, for uh, her book home which is one of the best sellers now and in cartography she again tries to have a look at relationship through the historical events and how they come across it first we should know what is cartography cartography is nothing but learning how to make maps now we know that the world is there and the world is not divided into countries but the division of the countries or the states or the cities is done by human beings to facilitate a good relationship between one country to another and usually a, a cartographer he will note down in the map all the bridges all the ways how you can do the communication how you can go from one place to another so in this book cartography also shamshi she tries to uh, trace out how two people try and make the distance that is the distance in the land how they overcome that distance and how they join together in the end it's a beautiful story about two young people rahim rahim and karim they are childhood friends and even their parents are friends but due to some calamity that is uh, because of this uh, calamity between the religion karim uh, and shamin have to and rahim have to get separated so karim goes off to london whereas uh, rahim stays back in karachi they get separated when they are in school itself but by then they have developed a very close relationship which makes them feel that they are for each other and uh, their friendship is encouraged by their parents who are also very good friends uh, and uh, later on uh, that is only after they grow up rahin comes to know that uh, karim's mother who is a bengali was once engaged to her father but due to reasons which we all know it was not possible for them to marry since they were not able to marry they they really wanted their children to become close and they wanted to them they they wouldn't have minded if they wanted to marry each other but due to the riots which happened in karachi um karim had to go safely and stay with his uh, parents in uh, london whereas uh, rahin uh, maintained her friendship with karim through letters slowly slowly what happened is she found that uh, karim's uh, letters all were uh, were regularly coming to her but there was a type of a hostility in his uh, writings uh, at the same time uh, his um, intimate uh, love for her was also not lost that he was not able to overcome uh, and she was wondering why he was uh, doing like this uh, and karim uh, chooses his uh, life to become a cartographer and uh, he says like ma- uh, by mapping the world and by finding some connection between one place to another he can make the places that is the people living in different countries to somehow become close to each other he was trying to do it in a way to control his own fate and here uh, rahin was informing him about whatever was happening in karachi and uh, she was also in, uh, eagerly waiting when he will come back so that they can be together finally rahin finds out why karim is being very hostile to her because then only she comes to know that later only he came to know that both their parents were about to get married but her father was the one who broke off with his mother because she was a bengali and he didn't want to disappoint his parents uh, by marrying her and so what happened is karim felt that his her father had been very dishonest towards his mother 
but his love for uh, Rahin was too much and slowly through their communication we also come to know about the riots which were happening in Karachi and about uh, uh, how the people were literally suffering for no fault of theirs and finally the story ends very happily where Rahin and Karim come back together and they join in life and uh, the novel itself is very realistic and she tells how people are uh, confused between uh, their own prejudices and uh, what happens when they have to follow certain religious uh, norms which are set by the society but finally this story is about only friendship and ancestry uh, only when we read actually it is small small instances are explained in a beautiful way where uh, small girl the very first chapter to shows a very sm a, sm a young girl is uh, hit by a bus driver who is belonging to the different religions uh, and because of this a riot starts and this riot becomes a big calamity and uh, small small instances keeps on keeping uh, adding fuel to the riots and how the life of the ordinary people are affected and most of them even walk out of they even escape from the country to live a peaceful life and how um, beautiful relationships are broken and uh, it is the relationship between Rahin and Karim how beautiful it is through their letters so unless you read the novel you will not understand how beautifully uh, Shamshi has written the novel but this is the basic thread of the story I hope you, you, have, you would have understood if you have anything more to add on please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thank you